Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Ajax here coming back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your aim in Valorant using Kovacs Aim Trainer. First off, I'm going to talk about the proper way to be using these exercises on here. So if you just want to hit a quick warm up, you're only going to want to be doing it for like 15, 30 minutes total. And then you're going to want to go hop into games and play anything longer than that. You're, you're going to tire out your arm and you're just gonna not play as well as you think but if you're going for like an actual like aim training session you're gonna want to go for like 60 to 90 minutes somewhere in that time frame and after that your arm's gonna be like tired and it's gonna be pointless to keep going so you just need to get that that perfect time frame before your arm gets too tired so the best time to be doing aim training is right before you go to bed you're going to want to do that 60 to 90 minutes right before you go to bed. So then you can go to bed and your arm's going to be tired out from just doing the, the aim training. And you can go to bed and while you're sleeping, that's when it really builds like that muscle memory. And it recovers the best. Just something about that sleep, you know, you got to get that sleep. So yeah, make sure you're going to do this exercise right before you go to bed. Alright, so now let's just hop right into the exercises for Valorant here. Um, Valorant's more of like a click timing game you don't do that much tracking but sometimes you do so that's why I got a couple on here that are tracking um, it's not the most important for Valorant but you're still gonna want to work on it so the first one we got here is gonna be thin gauntlet and this one's just a track and one you're just gonna want to be smooth and try to just track this target down that's about it just working on your track and keeping Keeping your mouse smooth here. So that's it for Thin Gauntlet, just a nice nice track and exercise there. Alright, moving on to the next one, we got one wall, five targets, Pasu. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, I'm, we're gonna go with it. But this one is also kind of another tracking one but it's also clicking so what you're gonna want to do with this one you're not just gonna want to go berserk and click them all you're gonna want to just track them for a sec before you before you click them so just track them a little bit So yeah, that's about it for that one. You're just gonna wanna track them real quick, just for a sec, before you click them. So next, the next one we got here is Tile Frenzy, the classic Tile Frenzy. So all we're doing for this one is, we're just working on our flicks here, and just making sure we're going quick, but accurately. So yeah, that's it for that one. Just, you know, trying to go quick, but making sure you're accurate. So the next one we got is one wall, six targets, small. And we're just working on our flicks. But what you're gonna wanna do with this one is make sure they're, make sure you're accurate with them. So this is all we're doing with this one. We're just going around, being precise with her mouse, getting a good feel for it. Just clicking, just clicking heads. Just imagine clicking heads in Valorant, that's all. So yeah, that's that's about it for that one. The next one I like to do is Tile Frenzy Mini. Just like Tile Frenzy, but it's a smaller 
obviously that's why it's called mini and same thing we're just going quick but working on our flex here trying to be accurate but going quick So yeah, that, one, that one's nice and simple, just Tile Frenzy Mini, you know, smaller flicks, but still important. Alright, so the last the last one we got here is Pad Target Switch Small. And I like this one because it's it's kind of like in Valorant shooting, you know, you got a, a little bit of recoil, you can kind of just like, almost like in Valorant, you can like feel the recoil and like work on hitting the head there. So that's why I like this one. And that's about it that's all there is to it it's just it's like working on your spray almost or even if you want to pretend like you have the vandal just clicking heads i guess it's kind of more like the phantom because i don't want that but like you get, you get what i'm saying so yeah guys that's about it for the exercises but like I was saying earlier, if you're just doing like a warm up, you're just gonna wanna do each one a couple minutes, you know. The end time's gonna be about 10, 15 minutes for warm up. But if you're like actually doing it for like an aim training session, you know, that 60 to 90 minute time frame, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do each one for about five, 10 minutes, then go to the next one and then keep cycling through until you get to that, that 60 to 90 minute time frame or until your arm starts to get real tired. So yeah guys, that's been it for the exercises I use on Kovacs Aim Trainers to improve my aim in Valorant. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out my socials in the descriptions. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see ya.